Well, actually, I think that is a very difficult definition because um, the way I learned it, contemporary architecture is architecture made in the last uh, 20 years. Uh, that means that contemporary is always changing, is the architecture that is, has been produced in the last 10, 20 years, always. So the more you go, it's not like the modern movement that is stopped in a certain period of time or any other movement. Where the architects can be free to design what as they want. And then, but still in the corridor is follow uh, what form follow function or or high tech techno high technology or you know, depend on the concept what they want to apply in in in, in the in, in their design. Contemporary design is contemporary is a kitchen build up with the technology with the development of new materials with the development of the materials the materials that you have فهني صار بامكاننا حتى اللي كان يمكن السابقين فكروا فيه وقالوا اتس بوسيبل تو بي بيلد اب الحين صار مثل ذا حديد 30 سنه تم تصميماتهم لكن مستحيل كان صعب ايام حتى في فرانك جاري لو ما استخدم الكمبيوتر والموديلنج ما تم اكتشاف الستركشر اللي راح يكون فهني اول شيء الاهم اللي نسال مو بس تعريف Why? See that contemporary architect can be more um, can can welcome other philosophies, while the modern architect is uh, ruled with diff um, specific rules more than contemporary. Uh, what I feel is that the contemporary architecture is the architecture of the present day, and. Uh, it does not go or belong to any particular style as we have seen in history that there have been many styles pertaining to a period or a certain influence but contemporary architecture is much away from this it is something that is there because we need it today so it is the architecture of today so it's the terminology which is very relative with the time period that is what's happening in the architecture world nowadays it's continuous and ongoing so our contemporary architecture uh, will no longer be the next generation contemporary architecture. Contemporary architecture does not conform to a particular brand or to a particular style per se. It is about exploring new aesthetics in terms of redefining form and redefining the extent of imagination through use of materials, through use of technology. Creating signature buildings which sometimes may not even make sense to to a layperson. I think the contemporary architect is the practice of making places and spaces that employs whatever is representative of this moment of time. There are ideas and practices that represent this time, meaning this century and this current moment, philosophical and ideological and theoretical. Those things that represent our culture, current uh, way in which people live and think. If there is any architecture that represents that, then that would be contemporary architecture. In my opinion, contemporary architecture means the trend or the hub that most architects follow up, follow up uh, nowadays, like being it a certain style or a certain uh, material that most architects like to use it and exploit it for a certain period of time. And you can conclude from its name a contemporary, a, a temporary thing for a period of time. Who is my favorite contemporary architect? There are many, but I would pick on Peter Sumto. He's a Swiss architect um, and why I would consider him as contemporary architect is because I think he does buildings that go beyond visual appeal into try and uh, make people feel spaces experientially and very powerfully. He's not, he was not a very well-known architect until he built the Swiss Park in Switzerland. 
when everybody began to realize how cleverly he had articulated building materials and structures and spaces in which people feel the space. This is important because if you go back into modern period and postmodern period, architecture often has tended to become more visually articulated and more appealing to the eye. Um, Peter Sumtoy is among some of the architects who are changing that approach and I think that's the most up-to-date way of thinking about architecture. That's contemporary to me. Among the list of the architects that uh, I would put as on the rank of my favourite being the contemporary architects, uh, Zaha Hadid has always been my favourite. She has always influenced me, her deconstructive way of thinking or we can say that she was the lady who was the lady of curved lines. So I think I have a lot of fancy and attraction towards her work. And another deconstructivism architect that I prefer is uh, Frank Gehry. His work, especially the work of the Walt Disney Concert Hall and the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, Spain. Well, I would say that's Renzo Piano. Uh, he, he has he, 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 he goes about redefining what should be architecture. Like the building that he has in Paris, which with, with its exposed skeleton, it is something that would not be perceived as an aesthetically appealing building per se. But it has redefined how we perceive spaces, how we perceive structure, how we perceive aesthetics to be. So that would be Renzo Piano. My favorite contemporary architect is Zaha Hadid, and the reason uh, I'm a big fan of architects who can blend the architect line with the interior lines, uh, who don't separate uh, the architect from the interior, from the product design. So you feel the whole uh, building is a whole uh, is a one piece of art. You don't see that that separation between the product the furniture, the interior, and the architecture line, they all give you one most free. Um, and I think the contemporary architect is not limited to architect. Uh, you can see that it has affected even interior designers. And for that, I'll give you uh, Karim Rashid as one of my favorite. And again, the same reason that um, you can see his work he don't separate himself as an interior designer or as an interior architect or an architect. You can see the whole work starting from even the smallest details if he's designing a restaurant. You can see the fork, the spoon, the plate is reflecting the outside architecture line. So you, you enter a space who, 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 which tell you a, st a whole complete story from the beginning of the interest to the elevation to the interior and the whole details. Uh, I cannot specify any uh, particular example of a building that I favor from contemporary architecture but rather I would like to enlist some of the characters that go and maybe they are there in uh, my favorite list, like for example, the curvy linear forms, the breaking away of the geometry, or the material that is being used, uh, and something that takes you into the needs. So we are much away from the utilitarian ex uh, expression that was there in the modern architecture, and we are going a little step above those uh, by adding and by playing with the geometry. Uh, I like uh, Frank Gehry's work because he's always using the computer-aided designs to come up with new uh, examples of architecture and also Zaha Hadid who has always been uh, going out of the track and playing with the curved lines and playing with the flowing forms. So if you talk about the lines and the forms and the volume shapes and materials, I think that is what makes me go uh, with the favorism of contemporary. Building for contemporary uh, in Bahrain, yeah, maybe the t uh, the new twist building. There's the I think the function is apartment. That's in in Bahrain. Uh, my favorite building is um, Duke Library in Denmark, and the thing uh, it is my favorite because uh, the contemporary architect of that building is reflecting um, the uh, the function of the building 
and reflecting the design concept and the design philosophy. This, this library was built uh, to rethink and rechange the function of the public library. And the contemporary architects have um, contributed much to this function and this is why it's my favorite building. Most of us have this misconception, or we can call it a misunderstanding, about the word modern. We think that modern architecture is the same as contemporary architecture, while they are totally different things. Modern architecture uh, had, been, uh, had started almost a century ago, when architects wanted to have more of a simple and straightforward and functional layout in their designs. To clarify things, modern architecture was uh, used uh, before in a certain period of time, almost a century ago, while contemporary architecture is what the focus right now is on. Yeah, uh, but this question, I like to, between the modern and contemporary, I like to, not the, dif the differentiate between them, I like to more to what yeah um, to s this modern and, and, and contemporary this looks like they support to each other okay which part in the modern is missing and then will be, com will be completed by temporary part and then is missing in the contemporary will be completed by the modern style so this is they like this like a cooperation between the modern and art uh, and then contemporary uh, contemporary architecture is a com it's not a movement. Uh, contemporary architecture reflects what is being done now. So, for example, I have a serious problem. Uh, see, the Guggenheim was a contemporary building, but I don't know if it still is because I don't know when is the Guggenheim, 1990-something. Uh, maybe it's not contemporary anymore, you know, and suddenly you are... Because it's not a movement, it is... Um, a, a timeline of what is being done today. So as years pass, it, it has become very difficult after the postmodernism that was, I, I think, the, or maybe the structuralism that was a movement that was clear. After that, we architects tend to say in speeches and that we don't know what we are doing. We don't know where we are. What is this time? We, because there is no statement. The modern movement have a statement. The postmodernism criticized um, the kind of machine uh, behavior that the modernists uh, had towards people, almost if we were robots to fit into boxes. So they had this criticism of going back and understanding people and their needs. So it, it was quite clear. Contemporary architecture is not about a belief, it's about a timeline. So. The difference, on, besides the context, the, the difference is based on that, and that is why it's so difficult. Because see, if you ask me what is my favorite building, I could say a building that is over 20 years, and now I will say, well, but that's not contemporary anymore. So. Talking about the installation project that happened earlier on the campus, I've seen the photos on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. I really like what I've seen. I was impressed and I wish that I had the chance to do something like this when I was a student. Uh, I think there was an exercise in which the students were made to try and understand the ideas that they encountered in their contemporary architecture lectures uh, or learnings and then try and interpret those ideas into real practical spaces and constructions. That was a very good exercise because in that, by constructing them, they had to understand the ideas powerfully and try and achieve them immediately. Uh, bypassing one stage, I believe, that the design stage was not very articulate. They did not spend a lot of time trying to design it, but they built while designing or designed while building. Um, and they learned a lot of things out of that. I think the students were experimental, very, very um, uh, aggressively experimenting new ideas and trying to achieve them through practical means. They demonstrated the 
handicraft skills, which is good, which doesn't usually happen. So overall, it's a very good exercise. Yeah, it was good. They learned a lot of things, I think, uh, among themselves in the group as well as in competition with other people. So because there were so many different ideas that were being explored. Yeah, it was a good exercise. My opinion on English, always I get so excited, so excited, and I just feel uh, our student actually can think and craft as well. Yeah, and in the uh, idea one can come out there, reached by in the public. So I can white have better a team uh, spirit in the end. Have better discussions. Have discussions. الايديز من ماتيريز شلون نجيبها فكان في تفكير بستراكشر شلون نركبها اليوم ما طاح اليوم طاح فاي واز ريلي اكسبيرمنتال كريجاردس بصراحه شنو الاساينمنت الايديا فظيعه لان انا كنت وايد متابعتهم شوي فحسيت ان دي ريلي انجوينج وات دي دوينج فيرست اوف اول دي ريلي ليرنينج سمثينج حتى لو الريزلت ما كان مرض لها 100% at least انا هذه اول مره اشوفها في جامعتنا فانا اشجع اني كونتينيو سواء في الكورس دي او الكورس الثاني بس حاب ما شفت ما شفت الرابط بينها وبين كونتيبوري لان انا يمكن ما حضرت الجوري يمكن بعد فيري سمبليفاينج كونتيبوري في ان نحط تويستينج ثينجز اور هاي يمكن انا ما اقدر احكي لان ما حضرت الجوري مالهم Oh, the way they defending themselves. But you can they justify it better than me. I'm just a showhead. Has said in them. Anyway, the idea is good. Oh, they succeed somehow. Best. She lost the country. And I will not. Ma ba ba ba. Maybe low in the future. That didn't happen. The shape. I think that to be fair enough to cross combine between all the groups. For example, you select one architect. Inspire uh, any uh, way of thinking. Uh, when when things, any yani typology of housing, whatever, and then everywhere they each team do the same or interpreted بطريقتهم as a conceptual uh, object for the public. لأن الأغلبية حسيتهم في البداية كان حلو من غير uh, من غير ال ال chairs. لما بدأ يحطون كل واحد يحط لي تشيرز حسيت اقول لهم انت ايش قاعد مو بحديقه هي مو شرط يكون فانكشنز اتس اوبجكت انت تبون سين هير سمثينج فهني حسيت انه ما كان طبعا هذا شيء جديد عليهم فاتس فاين يعني ما ما بنحكم عليهم لان لاول مره دي يصير في جامعتنا ولاول مره يمكن انه يجربون يشوفون طب شنو ذي المشكله انه يبي له توضيح شوي يعني يمكن انه عشان تو بي فير انف to cross compare it between it can be a theme or a more theme a subject or one not to put it on all the architecture or we will choose three of architects or two or one maybe we will produce something that is reflected in the solution system we can find the funders from the art galleries or the issue and we can even put it on the outside so let the community see what it is I know some of them can صعب التوازن بين other courses or وقت الفراغ. فحتى شفتهم في في العطلة يعيين يشتغلون في three. يعني هذا أكثر شيء يعني حسيت I totally appreciate what they're doing. Sorry, we should encourage them more and more. Let me say that I was a big fan of what you have done at the university. You brought some life actually to that. Those big corridors and courtyards. I do believe that students don't learn inside classrooms and studios. You don't learn and understand what you have designed until you bring it outside, until you see how people interact with it, how users respond to it, then you understand what you have designed. So it's very important that you keep doing what you have done because the whole, the, the uh, designing the building is just the beginning of the story. How people interact with it outside, how people respond to it, how do they use it, is uh, the way the story is completed. Uh, we have seen that at UOB, the students who are doing the contemporary architecture course have done a wonderful job, which was not done in years before. And we were really longing to see because 
the other universities elsewhere in the world are playing with those things because the students need to have a hands on experiences so the installations they did and i was also a juror for some of them unfortunately i could not continue to take the jury for all the students but whenever i'm walking in the campus i'm always looking at those installations and standing there for a while and thinking about them because they have the touch of contemporary and everybody had a different definition of how they could put the contemporary mostly the dominating idea i found was deconstructivism which is also my favorite and that's why maybe i like to stand by them and observe those installations